Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you like and comment as well and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. You know how it goes around here, right? So today we're going to react to Teo Aina films, all right? And so he traveled across Ghana with Wodemaya and this happened, okay? So YouTube actually suggested this video to me because I reacted to Wodemaya when he went to the school and I guess this is on their way to the school. So if you haven't watched the video uh, with Wodemaya when he went to visit the school where, you know, you can sponsor children, make sure you watch that one right after this one. Okay, guys, so let's get straight into this video. Let's go. Why is he eating like a white man? <laughs> you can't carry me on. How do white men eat? <laughs> so what's this one? Antelope. antelope. Yeah. Have you seen antelope before? They made excavations there and realized that 12,500... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the place I was talking about. Make sure you go watch that other one. So, let me show you. They made it. Yeah, it was with this um, gentleman who created a beautiful uh, green area, a park, um, you know, where before it was a refuse dam. So, he did a great job. So, what am I went to? So, make sure you watch that one excavations there and realized that 12,500 years ago people were staying in the cave. Mm. We are not meant to live life for ourselves alone. Thank we you. We are meant to live life for other people. Thank you so service much. Service to other people. Thank you so much. Yeah, hey guys, what's up? We just got to a rest stop. Today's vlog is going to be more like a road trip. We're currently on our way to Komasi. And I'm with Wodemaya here. He's doing his intro there. Why are you doing it? Let me interrupt you. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> Don't interrupt me, bro. Welcome to Ghana, bro. What's up, bro? What's How are you doing, man? I'm good, bro. Yeah, man. How long have you been in Ghana, man? I've been in Ghana for like over a week now. Over a week now? Yeah. How is life in Ghana? Ooh, it's chill, man. People's fire is in Ghana. <laughs> I really want to tell them something. Okay. I mean, why are we on YouTube? One of the major reasons we started our channel was to make an impact. And when he called me and he reached out to me today and he was like, oh, he's going on a road trip to a park. What's the place? Cool. Going to Co I remember Co <laughs> We're going to Co to go and give something to somebody that was raised for the person. I was like, oh, I need to join you along and tag along on this. We are also exploring Ghana, the beauty of Ghana. Ghana is really beautiful, guys. Man. Right. See the landscape, the vegetation. Like, even where we are currently is a rest stop. It's a place where people are traveling to Kumasi and the rest. They stop by to grab food and all of that. So, it's really cool. It's really nice, man. I really enjoy myself here, man. Anyone who uses this road knows. Yeah, you can pee here. Is it, why is the pee the first thing I can pee here? <laughs> because I guess that's always the first thing we do. Like when you're on a road trip, the first thing you think about is just going to help yourself. So I think the pee and then the food before you take more drinks and then the next stop you have to pee again. You know, it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like Wodemai and Teo are best friends, you know, because Wodemai is so comfortable with him, he plays around with him, he's always making jokes, so, yeah. One of the best parts about going on a road trip, as always, you get to have experiences you won't have on a normal day. So, what's this one? Antelope. 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 Yeah. Have you seen Antelope before? What? What? What's that? Oh, uh, okay, so you can, it's bush meat, yeah, it's good, but... It doesn't look so appetizing right now, but yeah. Oh. You know, let me tell you something funny. When I went to um Somalia mm -hmm. and then Namibia, all these antelope were walking by just like that. Oh, and I'm like, yo, that's this that's antelope that's can never that's walk that's in my country just like that, man. This is yeah. real meat, man. This one is it ready like this? Let me chop up. Oh, yeah. Then he, he just chops it. So it looks roasted. So he just chops it up on the sidewalk, and then you can have just your piece of meat. Is that how it goes? Wow. Have you chopped like No, 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 no. Ah, no, no, no. How much is it? Nine million. Nine million. Wait, wait, what nine is nine million? No, that's <laughs> like nine million old currency. Nine hundred. Is that nine hundred Ghana cities? Okay, so he has um, a, a small, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, a wild barbecue just on the side of the road where he's roasting the meat. Okay, and then in Ghana, it's Ghana cities. Okay, interesting. Okay. So uh, probably like, uh, hundred and fifty dollars probably. Wow. That's like seventy five k. Yeah. Oh. This is just what I put on the farm. Whoa. So this one is how much like this? Five point five. 
5.5, uh, less than a hundred dollars. He's saying that bush meat is the best meat, you know. Yeah, bush meat is really cool. We we had bush meat when we we're going to. The no way, but not in those conditions. No way. I would rather just eat the bush. I know in Kenya we have carnivore. So if you've never been to the carnivore restaurant, then you must make a point of going there. So that's where everything happens. Carnivore is a place to be if you want some bush meat. A crocodile, antelopes, zebra. So it's it's a controlled um, hunting. So you know for a fact that you're you know you're not helping the poachers. You know so yeah. So in that case, then yeah, why not if it's uh, hygienic and stuff like that. Oh my, I already I was my interpreter. I That's why I called you. But guys, this is one one of the cool parts about traveling. What what the. Those are what? Snails? Okay. I know the French eat snails, but in that case, uh, it does look... What are... Okay. The road, are, you, are they comestible? The road, you can know, stop by and, you know, get to see stuff like this. You don't stop by this in the city. You're always in the city every time. Not for me. No. Exactly. That's why I love those Known for. Kohu is known for Easter holidays. I mean, the best time to come here is during Easter holidays. The oh, whole Ghana okay. comes here during Easter holidays. So Easter is like a yeah, festival. So during that time, it's when everyone from the city comes here to party. Like I can see it's so hilly. I didn't know that. Very, no, I, man. Like, yo. Yeah, me neither. I never, kn I never knew that Ghana is so hilly. I saw it on Wodemeyer's video and I had no idea that Ghana was uh, this hilly. Yeah, this place, like I, I'll take you somewhere. You know, this place is uh, one of the hilly places you will ever find in the country, Ghana. And then people build their houses on top of the hill. They just don't build, like, simple houses. Like, they build mansions, bro. Mm -hmm. you, I'll, I'll take you to a place where you know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. These are old houses. These are old houses, old, yeah. Old town. No, enjoy the old town. Mm -hmm. Until so you enter the... Town. Hey, yeah, yeah. You'll be like, yeah. this looks like California, bro. California, yeah. yeah. The woman is saying, she loves your beard, man. Yeah, the way you feel your beard, she loves it. Thank you. This a process. So why did you have to shave your whole head? Are you a son of That's a good question. Why? I mean, it's very strange. Like, I mean, when you're bald, but you still grow the beard, you have more hair, you know, here and not on the head. So, yeah, it's very strange. But you really look good. You look good. What you say? You want to roast her? No, no. I want you to give you to peel it and put it. Uh, yeah, you have to work for her. This is the cool, cool part about Africa, man. Everything is like just cute, mm. fresh from the farm. Yeah. You can get in charge with it. Yeah, the grilled meat. Uh, maize oh my goodness it's so nice and then when you put some chili some red chili on top that's how we eat them in in kenya oh my goodness oh so you have like uh so how they do it is like they cut half a lemon put it in the chili and then you put it on your maize my goodness that thing is so good so good people here are so they're so chill they're so friendly oh sorry 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 Sorry. We spent two hours getting to where we are now. We have another 30 minutes to get to where we're going to, and then another two hours to Kumasi. We'll stop at Akwe, and then we'll do the donation and the whole video and everything there, and then from there, we'll go to Kumasi. Let me know if you're from Ghana, what, what's the liquid that uh, he's putting on donation. on the maze? What is it? Is it vinegar? Um, what is it? Let me know in the comment section below if you know what it is. And then the whole video and everything there, and then from there, we'll go to Kumasi. Hey guys, as we're driving up the hills, we just stopped by. This hill is beautiful. I don't know what's this place called. This Equipo, is Kuehu. Right? That's where we are right now. Kuehu mm -hmm. is just like a district, yeah. Okay. And this road mm -hmm. is actually one of my favorite places in Ghana. Do you think it's safe to travel in Ghana? I think so far, I've never felt unsafe as we've been going around. Uh -huh. We even went out at night. There was day we went out at night. Yes. Yeah. It was like very late at night and I didn't feel unsafe at all. And well, one thing that makes me feel so proud about this country is it's literally safe everywhere. So everywhere. Really, I've been to the really north, safe, south, west, everywhere. It's really safe. That's really cool, man. I don't it's like really planes safe. when I'm in Ghana. You just like going by road. No, no, no. Because I feel, I feel if, if, if the roads are really safe. Why well, plane? I, why plane? Like, right. I would want to express. Because you can express this if you are in something like that. Yeah, right. Because when you use a plane, you never get to see the landscape. You never get to see all these beautiful places. I've seen the waterfalls. I've seen this and that. The, the bush. But you never really get to experience the life, 
you know, as a local person. So 100% if the roads are safe, myself, I prefer road trips. And then you can stop, you know, you're just living life, you know. There is no rush. You're just living life and it's okay. And the roads look so nice. The infrastructure in Ghana, on point. Love it. Love it. No, that's where well, this, this niceness of it, nature. You see that it's not even hot here. The sun so, is shining, but it's not hot. There's a so, campaign going on in Ghana. They said planting of trees, oh, you know, mm -hmm. green Ghana. So mm. please, if you're watching this video from Ghana, let's use Tyre's platform to spread across a message. Plant one tree today. Keep Ghana green. You should do that mm -hmm. in Nigeria, too. Thank you. We need that more in Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> there are no trees anywhere in Lagos. <laughs> we need that more in Lagos. Even when I get no, back. It's not just Lagos. Accra, no trees, man. Accra, no, Accra has trees, though. Accra, yeah. I can count the number of trees in Accra. <laughs> <laughs>
computer, not to talk of you, bring it the internet. So uh, we'll do our part. Believe me, Africa is the future. And um, if Africa is the future, I believe that it's just young Africans who are capable of managing Africa. So if we don't start talking about it now, we'll also grow up and and end up the people we have now. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's a video. It was the Abbot Tifi Stone Age Park in Kwau. Okay, yeah. So make sure you watch that video. It was fantastic. Everything with stones, man. Everything tiles. It's beautiful, man. Mm-hmm. I that I'm taking a very long time. Mr. Ben Ado. Long time. Mr. Ben Ado. Hey. Finally. Finally. I told you I'm gonna be here again. You've done it. And I've done it. You know, I've always wanted to be here, but the thing is like my job. In and out, yeah. in and out, in and out, but I'm finally here. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay, yeah. You have a very beautiful yeah, house. Yeah, the, 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 wow, the house is stone like that. It's beautiful, beautiful, love it. <sighs> Tayo, what do you think about the house, man? Man, it's dope. Let me yeah, take so this guy to the park. This, this is house so I, so, so like a house. <laughs> 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 I see all the like, yeah. The last year, man, it's beautiful, man. Yeah. I have to just ask. <laughs> This is strategically pick this location. That's why people say Africa is heaven. This man right here mm-hmm. was born here. Okay. But this is his mother's land. Oh, but when okay. he was a baby, the mother used to take him to the farm, right? And in the farm, right there, there is a cave. It's believed that in the olden days, these people used to live in here. Mm-hmm. So he brought an archaeologist, came to do all the research and all of the people wow. existed in here wow. some years ago. Being an artist, he decided to bring that time back again. He designed everything. Everything. That seen, everything that is here. I mean, it here. brought you to. Brought it, but you know, you can't. Out. You cannot just do a cave and tell people to go visit mm-hmm. a cave. Yeah. So he decided that you know what? Let me just design a park. He's even doing all of wow. this alone, and I'm sure I can just try to imagine and what I'm going I, to do. I'm so happy to have watched uh, to react to this video because there are some details that I didn't have from the other video with Ward and I, and it's such a beautiful story because. This man knew there was a story with a cave and he wanted to recreate, you know, just to attract people to come and visit and to know the history of Ghana. And that is fantastic. Wow. I just feel like he needs support to continue what he's mm-hmm. doing. So when I came in here, I just discovered, came in here and I'm like, you did everything by yourself. Let mm-hmm. me just, I mean, ask my audience to give each and everyone should give a dollar and let's wow. give you this money to build a wall around the park and then the audience, so and then the audience came true the audience came true and because everything is shout out to Maya's true. audience we love you guys man we love you guys he's doing an amazing job mm. man and imagine like this place becoming like you won't see what I'm talking about until you get until there. we get there when you get out <laughs> let's, let's go there let's go there wow <laughs> guys can you hear that rain is about to fall so we're walking to the to the park now to go and check out the spot. What do you see? Hey! And you know this doesn't exist before. It was just that? a refuse dam. This place? Refuse dam. People come in here just to shit, do whatever they want to do in here. They pour like rubbish in here and he converted everything into this. This place was a refuse dump. Don't tell me that he doesn't deserve. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think even Teo has a hard time, you know, just getting it, you know, like this was a refuse dump. Look at how beautiful, you know, um, you know, the guy just transformed this whole place. It's green. It's beautiful. There is history behind it. It's no longer this, you know, this ugly place, dirty place. Uh, he did a fantastic job, 100%. No, he's here. I'm not even the one who's supposed to say it. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> he did everything really? from scratch, I right? can't even imagine. Really? Everything yeah. from scratch. I used a 10-wheeler track. It went in 22 times before I could clear all the refuse from 22 it. times. 22 times, yes. Just to clear the refuse. Clear the refuse. Everything was full of refuse. Wow. Full of shit. Wow. <laughs> that was good. That, that was good. They, they, they need to know. <laughs> and now, you see, people are coming in here. Is in this place as a vocational center. Yeah, it's, I mean, it people looks, are it looks like a, It looks like the perfect spot for a vocational center.
that big tree over there, behind okay. the palm tree, yeah. Yeah. there is a cave and, and the uh, archaeology department from Legon. They made excavations there and realized that 12,500 years ago, people were staying in the cave. So, wow. Yes. Wow. And being an artist, I took it upon myself to try and depict the life at that time in the cave. So I've made statue to show how it was 12,500 years ago. Like the one you see behind is one of the cavemen. Uh, it's very important for us because this is also a proof that human beings came from Africa. Right. And, you know, it was, um, it's, yeah, it's our heritage. You know, preserving such places, is uh, it's our heritage. So we need to be proud, you know, as Africans that we have some historical sites and, and when we have people uh, like, you know, who are there to preserve them and, you know, just to, you know, just to educate people, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Good job, sir. The Stone Age places they have in Europe is between 6,000 and 8,000 years. But mm -hmm. ours is 12,500 years. Mm -hmm. and that is why for me it was very important Having it behind my background, my my um, backyard yeah. to develop it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so guys, I just served Ghana fufu, and this is the first time I'm going to be trying out Ghana fufu. Ooh, we have fufu in Nigeria, so I want to see if it's the same thing. Why is he eating like a white man? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Man, this is dope, man. Like, this is a very dope meal. This is kind of cool, man. Kind of cool. It's kind of taste like pan down. I wonder what makes it so um how how stringy like you know because I know when you add cheese you can have that you know that slimy effect to. You know, but what what makes the fufu that slimy? Let me know in the comment section below if you know. Oh no! You can't carry me! Oh. You can't carry me! <laughs> Your name is on this. Yeah. Um, wow. It's down Ghana City. Wow. And, uh, we would love to do more. But they told me that I should come and check whether things are improving before they do more. Oh. That's, that's the major reason why we came on this road trip all the way down here. And I promise you, I'm going to use any city, any penny of this money right. to develop the place. Right. So that next time when you come here, you see more and you enjoy it. Yeah, congratulations, sir. You really deserve it. You've done a great job. Maya was a clock in Bantu. <laughs> what if Maya almost fell over? <laughs> ah. You need to climb up the tree. Try. Try and climb up the tree. I don't know what tree is it. Is it mangoes? I believe there are mangoes everywhere in Ghana. Everywhere. This place belonged to my mother. My parents they didn't stay here. This place is called Abitifi. And you see where, where the tree is standing. So the tree is on top it's of the direct cave? Direct on top of the cave. Wow. From everywhere, you can just point to where the cave is because of the tree. When I was a child, I come here with my parents. They would let us sit on in the that. cave. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. And wait for them. And by then, this whole place was a canopy. You couldn't have sunlight down here. And there mm. were pythons, yeah. monkeys, all other animals. Mm. You could find them here. These people who would come and farm with us, they will kill one of these pythons and they will come and lay it here, oh. very long, big one. And so I had this impact in my head. So when I went back outside, I said, no, I have to go back and make sure we preserve the place. So about 30 years ago, I got permission to preserve my land, which mm. 
it was 10 acres. I only need to just develop it. Yes, so I used my ideas, my artistic ideas to develop it. So this is where they uh, excavated. That is where you see that the place is gone down. Yeah, but it has been here at least 12,500 years. Okay. 12,500 years. It's really wow. amazing to see the power of social media right. and how social media can actually make an impact in the physical world. This is an example of what we can do from the little that we have and sort of make a change mm -hmm. and make an impact in different businesses all across Africa. Mm -hmm. I have plans too of also pushing narratives like this that would also help more African businesses. I just want to tell you, keep up the good work. We're going to come back here again. That and I'm going to help you make your dream come true. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. This is not my channel. Is it an orange? It looks like an orange, right? What is it? No sign out of my channel. That's like, this mango, hey, this hey, mango hey. on his hand. Oh, right? it's a mango. It's a mango. Okay, yeah. I know there are mangoes everywhere in Ghana, apparently. So, <laughs> so guys, yeah, that's what we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the whole road tour. Hope you enjoyed everything. And uh, if you like the like button, subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs> So thank you so much guys for watching. That was ah uh, that was lovely. I loved it. I loved it. I love it. So um it was a very interesting video because I got to get a lot of details that I didn't have in the previous video and I'm so grateful for you uh to you Teo and I hope to watch more videos uh from you. And so listen guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. I did. I honestly did. It was fantastic and just seeing the relationship, you know, between Wodema and Teo, those are best friendship goals. I feel like they're really uh, best friends um, and they're going a long way, you know, just by creating impact and also collaborating together so they can, you know, become uh, better people and give back to the society. So, guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And to tell another friend, okay? So like and comment as well. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and bye. Bye.